a group of local residents. It is certainly an election season that has kept us talking, and Whitney is here to talk to a few folks about that. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Steve. Well, whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, or somewhere in the middle, this election has been something unlike anything that we've ever seen. We have a team here of seven to talk about what this election has meant to you all. In one word, can you describe for me what this election has been like so far? Pat, you're here from Madisonville. Go ahead and tell us what you thought. It's been a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Okay, Raul. Exhaustive. <laughs> Exhaustive. Judy. Scary. Paul. Historic. Historic. All right, Lou, what do you think? Unsettling. Unsettling. Okay, what about you? Go up, go down, and so that's been very interesting to me. It's been a tight race tonight, and as opposed to this whole season, you were under the impression that it was going to be a landslide either direction. That's right. Okay, so Judy, you're here with the Brazos County Democratic Party. Tell us what yes. have you thought so far uh, since you've seen the election? Uh, well, this, this has been very interesting watching this tonight, of course, but I still feel that Hillary will pull this off. All right, and Paul, just so you all know that Paul is here from the uh, Brazos County Republican Party. What do you think about what you've been seeing so far tonight and throughout the whole season? I'm, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic, Whitney. Uh, I guess that's the best term I can use because uh, we see some of the states that are that are currently in play that, uh, as Pat said a minute ago, that uh, had you believed the news cycle from a week ago, you would have thought would turn the entire different direction. So I'm uh, cautiously optimistic, kind of like my uh, friend Judy. <laughs> All right, Wayne, you're here from Bryan. You're also uh, with the African American Museum. What have you seen so far, and how has this election made you feel? Because it's unlike any other. I think that we can all agree with that. Well, it's uh, it's, it's been fascinating. As generally, elections can be, and I think uh, uh, we all uh, learn a lot from these uh, encounters. So hopefully. Uh, and given a few days, we'll learn some more. And Megan, you're with Texas A&M. You you're going to Texas A&M, I'm sorry. Uh, you said that it was nerve-wracking. Yeah. Talk to me about what that means. Well, this is my first election I've been old enough to vote in, and so it's been nerve-wracking and exciting, and I'm really looking at a candidate who can provide job growth and stabilize the economy. Awesome, awesome. Raul from College Station, talk to me about what you've, you You said it's been uh, unsettling, or is it exhausted? Exhausted. It's been exhausting. Uh, you know, actually, I've been working working campaigns for just about all my life, practically. And I don't think I've ever seen a campaign with as much rhetoric involved as I have with this particular campaign. Uh, and I say campaigns, plural. Uh, and it's unfortunate that uh, the divides that kind of exist in this country do. Uh, and I'm, unfortunately, I think that this, this particular election has kind of uh, brought that to the forefront. And, and I think whoever gets elected tonight has got a lot of mending to do. All right. Well, you've heard it here. We have more on our, our focus tonight. We'll have it on BVTM tomorrow morning. So make sure you tune in um, tomorrow morning and online at kbtx.com. Whitney, thank you very much. We appreciate it.